Insistence comes out of uh, six years that I spent, um, that we, my family, spent living in a city called South Bend in Indiana, in Midwestern America. And um, uh, this is a post-industrial city where uh, they once made Studebaker cars, um, but the factory has long since shut down. And so um, it's a very interesting city. Um, it's a place where um, there's a lot of, uh, of, of separation, um, of, 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 of economic separation and, and racial separation. And it's a city where you can kind of see in the landscape um, the problems that America is having. And while we lived in South Bend, Indiana, um, I gave birth to my son, and um, that's really the origin of the collection, I suppose. Um, it came out of a kind of a, a deep desire to um, face up to what it might mean to bring a child into this particular moment in history. So obviously this is a moment where um, I think we've, we, we all know we've stepped over a threshold where um, you know, climate change is happening. Um, uh, species are going extinct and um, populations are, are being displaced. So it's happening. And um, to bring a child into that and to, to give the child that world is something different from having a child um, has been in the past. Um, so I wanted to face up to that and the, that's what the collection is, is trying to do. <sighs> of course, it's, um, it's above all, um, extraordinary to be on this particular list and um, the other poets on this list are are incredible poets and I admire their work so much and so I mean I think that's the overriding thing is just astonishment to be on this list and um, of course um, there's also there's there's ambivalence because you know nobody gets into poetry for winning prizes I don't and um, that's not what I think I'm doing here it's certainly not, it's so far from anything I was thinking about when I wrote this book. And this is a dark book, it's a worried book, so um, this kind of s celebration feels a bit odd for that reason as well. Um, I think there was also, um, I think the first feeling I had when I read the email was, was relief, which sounds ridiculous, um, but it was it just, oh, you know, somebody's going to read the book, so, which um, I think all poets have that as well, that um, you work away and you are, um, although you've chosen an odd form to do it in, you are trying to communicate something, you're trying to say something to someone and, and you do worry that, that no one will, will receive the message. Um, so there's been all of that and there's also, um, people are incredibly kind, you get, when this happens you get messages from everyone, it's like getting married or something, you know, you, the telegrams are all pouring in um, and that's, that's lovely. So um, yeah, I, I don't know, yeah, all kinds of feelings I suppose, yeah.